So we had an interesting article in uh, Guns and Ammo. Dick Metcalf wrote it. He's uh, a contributing editor and an author. Uh, he's uh, totally and utterly pro-gun rights. That's why he write, uh, gu writes at Guns and Ammo and has been writing there a long time. Um, so he asked this question. He said, look, the fact is that all constitutional rights are regulated, he said in the article, always have been and need to be. And he explained, look, of course you can't yell fire in a crowded theater. So is there some possible bounds to the Second Amendment rights? Well, any human being with any common sense says, well, obviously there could be some bounds, right? I mean, you can't bring an RPG in to the courtroom, can you? You can't walk around with a nuclear weapon, can you? There's got to be some bounds, right? So it's logical. He's not saying much there. And he said, uh, I firmly believe that all U.S. citizens have a right to keep and bear arms, but I do not believe that they have a right to use them irresponsibly. Now, can you imagine anything more uncontroversial than that? You have the right to have all those weapons. Just don't be irresponsible with them because, you know, you can get people killed. He didn't even say that last part. So what happened? The readers of Guns and Ammo were outrage how dare you how dare you suggest that we not carry around nuclear weapons we have an unlimited second amendment right to all the weaponry we want they uh, demanded that he be fired guess what happened they fired him. jim biquet who's the editor at large of for guns and ammo wrote this ridiculous over-the-top apology let me give you a part of it he said i once again offer my personal apology. I understand what you believe in when it comes to gun rights. I believe the same thing. I made a mistake by publishing the column. I thought it would generate a healthy exchange of ideas on gun rights. I miscalculated pure and simple. I was wrong and I ask you forgiveness. What I love is that he admits there that I'm so sorry. I thought we could have a healthy exchange of ideas. I forgot how stupid you all are that you don't want a healthy exchange of ideas. You just want somebody to say, rah, 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 we're right, we should go as extreme as humanly possible. I offer my personal apology. How could I be so stupid as to think that you guys would give a damn about open debate, even a tiny, tiny sliver of debate among all people who love guns? I'm sorry, I thought you were intelligent human beings and we could have a rational conversation. My bad, my mistake. They fired the guy who wrote the column. Gee, I wonder why we can't negotiate with the right wing in this country. Because they don't believe in negotiating. They don't believe in debating. They don't believe in exchange of ideas. They believe my way or the highway. My way or you get fired. My way or I shoot you.